Welcome back to the Beer Thunder. We we are here and we're talking like with the, the, the Vlad Dracula. We're, we're doing the, the, the F5E, the uh, a plane that exists within the game that people either like or don't like. Because uh, more recently in recent uh, history of the recent, uh, this plane has become kind of a poster child of a thing that is uh, overperforming and... I'm going to talk about overperformance and why I kind of hate that metric as a uh, as a measurement. Because uh, spoiler alert, yes, it is overperforming. It is also fighting in a bracket of other planes that also uh, vastly overperform their IRL flight models. Because uh, spoiler alert, the the game is uh, we might be in the simulator mode, but uh, kind of sort of. Uh, I'm going to agree with the the DCS mains point that like. At the end of the day, this is still kind of an arcade game, which means that the flight model development has gone through different cycles of things that don't make a lot of sense, and we are just kind of left with them. Uh, the other thing that we're left with is the, uh, the mauled spitting R60M just fucking killing us. Now, what is wrong with the F5E? Well, specifically speaking, the F5 and all of the F5-derived flight models, so F5A, F5C, F5E, and the F20 all overperform according to their energy management diagrams. Basically, these planes turn better than they should. Uh, they retain energy better than they should. They are just better than they should be. And in a vacuum, if you look at this by itself, this seems particularly egregious because uh, oftentimes what happens is people look at just one plane and don't look at all the other planes around it. And Try to determine what the fuck is going on, because, uh, spoiler alert, the more you look at War Thunder, the worse it actually gets. Now, most of the kills in the background here are going to be MiG-23 MLs, MLDs, MLAs, basically all the MiG-23 ML series, because, um, as it turns out, at least if the, the graph is correct, and, uh, me and another dude, the other dude is probably a little bit better at testing planes than I am, are correct, also... The F5 overperforms, but also the MiG-23 series also vastly overperforms. And it's, uh, in both cases, it's really egregious, but because both of them overperform in kind of the same ways possible, it's not nearly as off-putting. It doesn't become off-putting until you have uh, our quote-unquote third-generation fighters fighting fourth-generation fighters, because I think at some point when Gaijin was modeling all of their flight models... Um, basically everything kind of over overperforms at low speeds, overperforms in initial turn rate, and it probably also overperforms in sustained turn rate in a lot of cases, maybe not all of them. We haven't really went into the deepest of the deepest dives of kind of like cross-referencing everything because, uh, spoiler alert, doing all of the tests on the planes is actually kind of a pain in the ass because you have to upload WTRTI, um, you have to use localhost as well, because WTRTI is not actually a source for bug reports. And you have to maintain, like, a turn rate where you have uh, basically zero uh, energy loss. And actually trimming for that, because you're in 1% or half percent increments, is a... Uh, that's kind of actually pretty hard. Doing the whole entire uh, flight model testing for even an individual plane can be relatively time-consuming. That means that... Um, when I've done flight model test of the things that I do, I kind of do it at a glance. I'm not trying to go for the most accurate um, information because I just go at, at a glance. Like, hey, it's between like a G limit of 3.1 to 3.3. It, it, if you want to uh, trim the plane, make a flight model where you disable the G limit, all that other kind of stuff, uh, you can do that. I don't do bug reports because I, I don't like interacting with... Uh, the Gaijin staff at all. Like, I am a guy who's on the forums. I got banned on the forums for pointing out that a guy's a Nazi by posting Discord messages of himself doing Nazi things. They're like, wow, that's that's hate speech that you shared this. Uh, the other guy didn't get banned. I got banned because I, I shared him identifying himself. That That is how much uh, Gaijin staff makes sense. At the same time, Gaijin staff makes sense that they will ban a guy for having the word femboy in his name but also uh doesn't care about names like white race savior um or i don't know probably something like 
Uh, the Jews are to blame for all of the world's problems. It, it's probably fine, but uh, femboy, that, that is, that's kind of a no-no. Uh, you need to have something more, uh, uh, less sexually provocative. So something like prostate milker is perfectly fine. Anyways, we're flying the F5, and we're just kind of like flying around and gunning people down. Now, as far as this plane plays in sim, I mean, it plays like an F5. It's, it, it's, it's pretty cool. It's got good guns, a good flight model. It turns good. It's got two uh, pretty decent miss missiles, and uh, it's pretty good at just kind of like, you know, fragging your random bozos, especially in this BR range, because a lot of the times, pretty much most of the time, the guys you're fighting are like premium players in MiG-23 MLs. They're in SU-25s, and uh, you die to missiles, but you don't really die until you run out of all your flares and shit so like it feels it, it's pretty it's pretty easy now the f5 is not specifically good just because it overperforms the turn rate charts uh, the initial turn rate charts all of the charts that it has irl because um spoiler alert the mig 23 series also uh, vastly overperforms their charts by a pretty goddamn wide margin i think if you looked at all of the uh third generation fighters and you looked at uh, the whole entire speed range and flight envelope, you would find that uh, most of them vastly overperformed because when Gaijin added these things and they started adding like F4s, um, MiG-19s, if they added them in a way that was like actually super duper realistic, um, they probably basically would not be able to hit, hit subsonic planes in mouse same. Like the planes would just be super compressed all the time and uh, it just it just wouldn't work out but at the same time you have kind of like this transition period where this overperforming flight model uh nonsense once you scale it up to f-16c and mig-29 uh basically your true fourth gen fighters uh it turns into perpetual 14g turns nobody loses energy and also it becomes unplayable and it means that you have this like really weird uh gulf in the game where the MiG-23 ML, the MiG-23 MLA, is actually a better dueling plane for, uh, like, top-tier Air RB because of its uh, exaggerated turn rate. And the thing is, with the exaggerated turn rate, like, we've actually kind of done the numbers, or, we, like, at least looked into a source, and the source says that it should do this, but it also does this. The the, the red and blue lines show what it does, and the, the top black line shows what it should do, and... Uh, Spoiler alert, MiG-23, um, compared to IRL, the, the matchup is not the same. The idea that the MiG-23 um, kind of easily outturns basically everything that's not like a pure fourth generation fighter is uh, probably a myth. At least it's a myth within the context of War Thunder. Maybe it happens IRL if you do some like uh, specific excess power energy trap kind of thing. Um, but overall, that plane was not really renowned for uh being able to turn all that good uh it was pretty goddamn good at being fast and staying fast though and if that was the way it was implemented within war thunder of like hey you had to stay fast and go fast and be good at being fast it would be fine but that is not actually the way that the plane scales the way the plane scales is uh if you're fighting anything that's 11.3 or below uh you fold the wings out you hold the stick back and the other guy is going to run out of energy while you do 20 degrees per second or better in the turn rate. It's actually, like, it's not that hard to play. That is why the MiG-23, the MLB, when it came out, was as busted as it was. And on the other hand, that's kind of understandable from a gameplay perspective because the MiG-23, MLB, ML, uh, all of those planes were kind of meant to be considered the peers to the F-14. And I think the F-14 kind of uh, benefits from the same kind of like uh, very optimistic modeling where it gets a 26 degrees per second turn rate on the full wings out at 900 kilometers per hour even though it could like could not do that IRL like it would just break the wings break the flaps kind of thing um, it makes sense in the context of the time but at the same time Gaijin hasn't really updated the flight models and hasn't really done anything to them um, at the same time, there have been credible reports about the F-5 being, uh, bullshit. And as much as I want to shit-talk the MiG-23M guy, the guy who made his screen name the MiG-23M, um, it, the, the reports that he's made on the F-5 seem 
incredible. Like he's using the NADOPS flight manual, he's using the the fucking EM diagrams, everything that he's he's saying seems to make sense on a surface level. And if they made the flight models realistic, if they made the F5 realistic, it would uh, immediately eat, sh eat shit to basically everything else that is uh, existing with a kind of ridiculous, unrealistic flight model. Because, uh, spoiler alert, uh, if you look at the chart, uh, make 23 ml uh, did not do this IRL. It's uh, it just it just doesn't happen. So. Um, you're in kind of like this really weird conundrum where if you make one thing realistic and you don't make everything else realistic, uh, the, the, the kind of dichotomy, uh, of Darth Plagueis the Wise, the, uh, thing I've done my thesis on, is, uh, it, it, it doesn't exist. Um, it is perfectly plausible to think that the F5 series of fighters would maybe win the initial turn fight against a MiG-23 and then lose the energy fight. And that's something that exists. But if you change it, if you change one without changing the other, and don't look at all of the other flight models, because spoiler alert, if you look at the F-4E, at least on the surface, at least from what I've done in preliminary testing, and I, I need to do more testing and develop like a method that's like duplicatable and also takes into account like flaps and all the other things to kind of like you know, square the corners, because maybe in real life, the turn rate chart that exists for the F4E was like, hey, we're going to use flaps up, and we're going to just, just ignore the fact that flaps exist, because if you look at the EM diagram for the F4E uh, versus what you can do in War Thunder, uh, number one, you can vastly overperform in initial turn rate, like you just turn better at high speeds, you turn better when you pull full stick back, but you also end up turning a lot better at lower speeds as well, like you can maintain a pretty much equal uh, low speed turn rate at it basically 50 to 100 kilometers per hour slower than it could in uh, the real world, or at least like what the chart says. But I'm not an aeronautical expert, so I can't really tell you one way or the other for sure, because there might be some caveat in the manual, in the flight testing, in the whole entire program that said, no, actually the F4E could drift around like a fucking school bus at 30 degrees AOA as long as it had its flaps down and you micromanage the AOA and because of the way the game scales, it, that, that is perfectly possible. So when it comes to things and it's like, oh yes, it's overperforming, it's like, I, my answer a lot of the times is yes, but no, and is the, uh, the relative balance still the same? The relative balance being like, yeah, F5 still outturns the things that it should outturn. It probably turns better than it should. Um, at the same time, MiG-23 ML uh, maybe probably outturns the things that it should. Like, I, I don't think that the F4E versus MiG-23 ML matchup uh, would be all that radically different. Like, I don't think the F4E IRL was also that good of a, uh, quote-unquote, like a turn fighter. So... I don't know. I think it's just a a problem with the way that the game is modeled. And reconciling this with all of the dudes who want to nerf your favorite flight model because it's overperforming, it, a lot of the times it feels like fucking nonsense. Now, what is the solution to making all of the underperforming and overperforming shit actually perform? The, well, the simple answer is just make it do the things that it should IRL, like make them realistic and then let Malsane players uh, cope about it and then, like, redo the Malsane parameters to maybe take advantage of, like, 100% of the flight envelope as opposed to 90%. Um, at the same time, when you're adding shit that doesn't have EM diagrams, IRL, things like the grip, and that are just kind of, like, assumed, maybe don't add them in a state where it has, like, double to triple the specific excess power of literally everything else where you just win by... Uh, pushing a single S key. That is, but that is just my opinion. If you agree or disagree, uh, you can make a comment, and then I will flame you. Anyways, that that is that is the beer thunder for this Saturday. Hope you enjoyed.